Namaste. Welcome. For tonight, let's talk about silence and listening. This is part of our ongoing discussion and the stages to meditation. So after we've gained confidence holding our body still, our next task is to learn, then eventually master the skill of listening. Listening will only happen once we attain the state of silence. Silence is both a physical state, something that we create. Then eventually, in the future, through time and practice, silence becomes an organic state, a spiritual mental state, something which is within, that we can access anytime, anywhere, whenever we need to meditate. But before it happens, we need to create or learn how to create an environment, a physical environment conducive for meditation. This is quite challenging amidst the many things which affect our practice. So planning is important. Now, first is the time. Have a look at your daily task. Find a time where you can do it alone in a quiet place. Maybe a room, maybe your living space, and something which you can practice in solitude, away from the distraction. If you enjoy your asana and you find time for it, if you enjoy your recreation and you find time for it, there's no reason why you won't be able to find the time for your meditation in silence. A quiet and silent place also means practicing away from the distraction of our electronic devices. No cellular phones, no television, no radio, no music. Just you and the rawness of your practice space. So what happens now? Now it's time for you to listen. So do this with me. And then you may carry on and apply the lesson yeah, when you practice on your own. Whether you're sitting tall or you're lying down, as long as the spine is open, the breath is flowing. First, observe the natural flow of your breath. With your eyes closed, just relax your face. Relax the jaw, loosen your teeth, relax your lips. Now bit by bit, allow your breath to go lighter. You won't be needing much since you're not moving. So just enough for you to keep the functions of your inner organs happening. The breath is light but no strain. It's still comfortable and light for your inner body. The breath is light now that you're not distracted at all by its sound or movement. Now channel your attention now close to your forehead. And then from the forehead, move your awareness across the right and the left hemispheres of your brain, close to the ears.
while the lightness of the breath travels through the nostrils your internal ears listen closely around your forehead and the temples Can you hear it now? Subtle vibrational sound shall appear out of nowhere. It's made by the unmade. It's far yet too close. You might hear a high ringing frequency similar to the sound of the forest like you're alone in the forest listening to the sound of nature like the sound of the crickets vibrating so close yet comes from afar. Now listen closely and more intently. Bring your awareness to the right temple and listen there. And then send your awareness to the left hemisphere and listen. You might be able to hear a slightly different frequency. The right side hears the high pitch one. And the left hemisphere hears a slightly lower vibration. Keep listening. If you can make your breath even lighter so you can hear clearer. That's the sound of the anahata, the unmade sound. The sound which is ever present all along. It's the sound of the subtle energy, the universal force. which is within and around you. And through time and practice, this frequency shall grow richer and more refined and defined. as you venture and journey through the innermost realms of your energetic system leading to 
experiencing your spiritual body. But for now, that's enough. It's rich already. Now take one conscious breath in. Let the breath awaken you more. And exhale. And lightly blink your eyes open. Yes. So the unhat and nada, or the unmade sound, predominantly happens around Ahit particularly around the T-zone of her face, yeah? Um, from the bridge of the nose to the center of the forehead and across the temples. Yeah? And the right hemisphere, um, generally for most people, is able to hear the high ringing frequency, like that, yeah? On the other hand, the left side, hears a slightly lower vibration. Mm, something like that, yeah. But eventually, yeah, through time and practice, you will be able to go beyond and behind this gross frequencies. Yeah, little by little, there are more frequencies. Yeah, hidden behind and beyond until you're able to go through the very center. Yeah, the centermost sound of our uh, astral system, our spiritual system, which is similar to the vibration of the mm, like that and the sound of the inner brain. To be able to experience the Anahata Nada even in its cross form is huge already. It will take you deep and far. You have the tools and the information already. My wish is that they become as helpful to you as they have to me. Have a meaningful meditation. Namaste.